Yo, what's up guys? This is Astronox and I'm back from the Tales of Aaron video and I'm gonna try to summon for Marion. Uh, these are the last uh, four gift codes. Uh, I redeemed the, the first three, the last one, new bonus. This one I did not redeem yet, so I just did it. It's in my mailbox. Um, it has to be an uppercase, guys. And uh, you redeem them by going in information at the top left. And then you just go gift code and you just input the gift code. Alright, so. Uh, might be confusing here. Okay, 10, 000, no, 15,000 gold. Oh, two of these. And uh, 100 stamina. So two starlight dust. Actually, it's going to reset soon, so I'm going to keep them for later. I need to not make the mistake. Alright, so let's go and try to summon for this girl. They say Marioni here. Oh, a quick review for her. Mm. So Marion. Defense kind of low. The other stats don't really care. 140 restoration, that's pretty high. Heal the character of lowest HP of 300% skill effect and reduce enemies dark resistance by 10% for 8 seconds. Gain 1 soul spectrum. Uh, 10 second heal, quite strong. Uh, there's no max HP, uh, uh, it's not max HP based, it's really like 300% of your uh, like uh, attack stat and uh, dark resistance reduction that's good for a mono dark team uh, and then the soul spectrum talk about that after because it's later down the line uh, restore all characters HP by 500% and grant all characters in the party high spirit buff increase attack and defense by 20% for 25 seconds this will not stack with uh, another character like Petralia or uh, Lila or any other character that has attack and defense increase unfortunately so uh, you could pair them together uh, but it's best not to unless you really need the attack interval reduction and actually Petralia and, and Marion will be fine together you'll have like 100% uptime on uh, the, the buff and uh, uh, she heals the team Petralia heals like single target Target heal, attack interval reduction, 6% cooldown reduction on her uh, skill 2 ultimate. And uh, defense increase from Petralia. Like, they're, they're, a good, they're a good pair. They're, they're a good pair, even if they don't, the buff don't, doesn't stack. Uh, now, the, both of the heals are based on uh, like a, attack. So, she's going to need some, uh, some good attack. And... Here, gain one soul spectrum every 10 seconds. When having five, grant all characters barrier of life. Absorb damage equals to 15% of characters HP for 15 seconds. Okay, so this is the portion, uh, like I said on the last review as well. This part is uh, where it's based on character HP. So that's pretty cool. There's a shield there. So every, uh, like I said before, if it's only based on that and she doesn't use any skill, it's going to be every 50 seconds seconds that she's gonna do that barrier and increase skill damage by 20% that's a very uh, strong stat increase skill damage is on a, another multiplier so that's quite strong and after that soul spectrum will disappear but every 10 seconds you can build one here uh, if you have her with petrol yeah petrol is gonna reduce her uh, cooldown so she's gonna go more often and she doesn't get soul spectrum from this only this one but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's gonna bring the cooldown here down to like uh, with the uh, ultimates going off and uh, cutscenes for skill animations. You could have this thing going off every like in-game uh, fighting time, like 20 seconds basically. So that's good. And uh, this increased damage 10% and 25% max HP of the party. For dark characters, increase 15% human characters dark resistance. That is, uh, mm, that's the problem. If you don't have a dark team, it's not gonna get the increase. But human characters do get the dark resistance at least. So uh, yeah, I could have a human team with different elements or just purely a uh, mono dark team with her. She's, that's gonna be 
really strong. If you don't run Dark Team, just skill up the first three. But Dark Team, preferably, of course, skill up everything. Uh, if you don't use skill fruits, it depends. Skill two, three, four, leave first at one. Uh, or if you do have Petralia, you can not level this thing, but you're gonna need team healing anyways. So, yeah, dark team, you want everything maxed. If not, first skill don't max. Uh, but eventually you want 10, 10, 10, 10. Yeah, that's it for her review. And uh, I'll come back, guys, and I'll be pulling in a second. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to summon for Marion or Marioni, whichever it is. So, maybe I get her, maybe I don't, but I mean, it's just one chance. Uh, I'm not going for 16 pulls because she's going to be part of the, uh, the normal pool. You can pull her with uh, pack summons. Actually, I only have 73. I thought I had 80 or more. Well, let's go. Let's see. I'm going to save up for a limited card here, and I got nothing. Well, I got Sarta and 245 of those. So I guess it's something. So how much? How many do I have? Uh, three on Sarta. But in the Cosmos, that's enough for uh, the second one, which means she can reach 100, level 120. But Boreal is the hero that uh, the character I want to really work on. So yeah, that's it for this one, I guess. Uh, also for costumes, if you do have Marion, uh, of course, like the top costumes on your uh, dark team or human team. If you have a human team, you're gonna go with. Uh, Fire, not the seed, sorry. Illusory, Nirvana, Fire Seed. Attack of human and earthland characters in the party. This is 60% attack and HP. So you'd run a bunch of those. But if you run a mono dark team or a dark, uh, three dark plus one team, just go with As many as those as you can get. Uh, free to play, farm dark, uh, abyss massive battles, and uh, I mean, if if you spend money in this game, maybe you pull in the uh, the gacha costume costume summon, <clears throat> which I don't recommend for free to play at all. And uh, so you run drums if you if you don't have drums. Well, you're gonna run uh, team crit guns. You can have, uh, could run two team crit guns. Could have that on Marion or someone else in your group and on another support. And uh, if you go, well, you want a mix of uh, Dark Laws of Origin on your team and uh, Dark Tome of Origin for survival. Yeah, you're, you're gonna need the survival unless you're doing a, a fight that you know you, you won't be dying on. So in that case, you just go uh, like two team crit guns with a bunch of Dark Law of Origin. You could get your survival from a few uh, drums with claws and two, uh, two Dark Cannon of Origin. Uh, two if you have uh, team crit substats on your costumes or you might have to run three of those but now with the cosmos system uh, we can actually get some crit in there and uh, I mean substats are not too hard to get uh, you just you just farm a bunch of uh, costumes in the dark uh, abyss massive battle and then you decide 
you pick the one with the better substats and then you you break through that one four times break bring it to level uh, 100 and skill 10 unless you you want to use a, a few gold hammers to reroll the substats but i don't recommend just spamming gold hammers on uh, gear beside the uh, the nirvana like if you're going for let's say human team you're, you're getting those nirvana seed right and whichever one you pick will you convert it then you upgrade it into illusory nirvana fire seed and you keep the substats and uh yeah just pick the 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 one with the better substats or just gold hammer either these or just these it carries over so yeah and uh yeah, I mean, balance your stats, guys, especially in Abyss Massive Battles. Uh, you need the survival. It's not all about, like, pure damage, unless you're you're running with uh, a few uh, guild members that have high damage as well, and you just take down the boss super fast. You could go full offense as free-to-play. Uh, even me as free-to-play with my win team against the, the Water Massive Battle, I can't just go full all-out. Uh, balls to the wall, damage, I need survival. And uh, you can play with the, either the healing divinity or the first divinity or any of the uh, any of the four divinity, but for attack or permanent HP, it's the first or second divinity you want. And uh, yeah, I mean, you could run self-buffing HP costume like this, especially if you have good substats, you could you could like technically get double team crit 6% dark team crit uh, you could get 10% HP 10% attack uh, so really the substats do make a difference like if you think about it you get let's say double attack 10% double HP 10% or mix whatever it uh, that's <laughs> already the power of uh, like that's that's half an origin costumes and stats the crit you can't get well actually crit gun gets what 26 how much is it it's on vala 24 yeah that's half that's half if you get six percent six percent or it's also half on origin tomes or claws at 20 percent so yeah just balance your stats and that's it for this one guys thanks for watching i'm astronox like comment and subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next video peace out for now